Hi students, myself Dr. E. Surender. Welcome to Wits Connect. So, till now we have covered uh, uh, regarding condensers, uh, classifications, and uh, also uh, some problems, uh, example problems on how to calculate the condenser efficiency and uh, vacuum efficiency. Okay. In today's lecture, I am going to cover uh, some more problems. Okay. Let us take uh, one problem. See here, the problem he mentioned uh, that is if a barometric stands at uh, 760 mm of Hg and uh, condenser vacuum is uh, 710 mm of Hg at a temperature 30 degree centigrade, calculate the mass of air per kg of uh, and condensed steam. So, you can intend a mass of air calculate Jemun and Tunado e problem. Okay. So, Adi Ella and Edi Chudam. So, first of all, write the given data that is uh, the barometric pressure that is given as. Seven sixty mm of Hg, okay, and the condenser vacuum is given as seven ten mm of Hg. So, as you know, all of you how to calculate the absolute pressure in the condenser. That is the absolute pressure condenser that can be calculated that is equal to Pb minus Pb and already chapter no? so 760 minus 710 which is equal to 50 mm of Hg. So, actually, we have intent to units pressure and mm of Hg and we have to convert the bar to the bar. We have convert the standard NT 1760 mm of Hg is nothing but 1.01325 bar. We have mm of Hg is equal to 1.01325 bar. Okay, na? So, we have 50 mm of Hg. 50 mm of Hg and and the, so, bar lalo ki convert ches kuali. So, bar lalo ki convert ches kunte. This is 50 into 1.01325 divided by 760. Yes, then, we will make calculator lo simplify ches te. This value you are going to get as 0.0667 bar. No, sorry. Okay. So, once you calculate uh, the pressure, of absolute pressure in the condenser. So, then we need to calculate actually the name of the mass of air. Mass of air and thing, how do we calculate this? Generally, PV equal to MRT. PV equal to MRT and the PEA, this is pressure. PV is equal to MRT. MA, MA means this is mass of air. So, what do we do? What do we do? Air pressure. Okay, partial pressure exerted by the air. So, manak telsu, mamul ga Dalton's la eman chepadu, okay, mixture, gas mixture unna pudu, total pressure exerted in the condenser that must be equal to partial pressure of air plus partial pressure of the condenser. So, I will rendu manak telsu. So, kabati, ikada manamo, actually manaku uh, absolute pressure manaku 0.067 bar manaku ochindi. Idi tu manak telsu, condenser pressure. So, manaku condenser temperature in the chadu manaki. Actually, the temperature of the condenser that is given as 30 degree centigrade. Temperature in the condenser is given as 30 degree centigrade. So, at this temperature, what will be the pressure? You need to check your steam tables. Okay. So, steam table low, one more at 30 degree centigrade. At 30 degree centigrade, one more temperature table. This is the temperature table. Okay. At 30 degree centigrade, normally at 30 degree centigrade, 0 0.04242. You can see here at 30 degree centigrade, 0 0.04242 bar. That is the pressure. Okay. Also, we need the specific volume also. So, you can 
up C in the same table at 30 degree centigrade. This is uh, the specific volume Vf and it said Vg and it said Vf means liquid specific volume and the steam is nothing Vg is nothing but that is uh, the vapor specific volume. So, ikada manaki at 30 degree centigrade manaki specific volume guda manam this coach that is equal to 32.929 meter cube per kg. Okay. So, e vidanga we need to take the requirements from the steam table. So, at 30 degree centigrade from steam tables, from steam tables, at 30 degree centigrade, from steam tables, at 30 degree centigrade, what is the saturation pressure? Saturation pressure that is equal to how much it is 0 0.04242 bar 0 0.04242 bar ok similarly the specific volume similarly the specific volume is equal to 32.929 32.929 meter cube per kg meter cube per kg so once you got this one then pass pressure exerted by the air you can calculate pressure exerted by air which is equal to so manako total pressure in 0 0.0667 bar 0 0.0667 bar minus the pressure steam pressure that is 0.04242 so if this is the manaki air pressure that is equal to 0 0.0242 0 0.0248 bar Okay, so once the pressure of the air tells in Tarvata, manaki equation tells so, manak PV is equal to MRT nunchi, manam normal ga manaki mass of air calculate chess coach. So we know okay. So, in the law, any values manak tells so, so kabati and the substitute just say the mass of air. MA you can calculate that is equal to if you substitute the values 0 0.04242 multiplied by the value uh, which is uh, what is uh, the specific volume in meter cube per kg already we have, have taken that is 32.929 32.929 divided by R. Here we have R and the universal gas constant and joule per kg degree Kelvin dollar kilojoules per kg degree Kelvin. So R actually that is 0 0.287 kilojoules per kg degree Kelvin. So if kilojoules are low, we have to bar and we have to match quality. So into 10 square is good. That is the the kilo pascal so which is then divided by this uh, I am taking this in kilojoules that is 0 0.287 into temperature in the 30 degree centigrade so at 80 degree centigrade low only you need to convert that one into degree Kelvin so 30 plus 273 in a degree Kelvin level okay convert this quality so avidanga manaki substitution just says so if you calculate that one in your calculator you are going to get that value as 0 0.92 kg this is the solution 0 0.92 kg so this is the way to calculate the mass of air required okay so let us go for another problem okay the problem is given like this let us see a vacuum gauge on a condenser reads 660 mm of Hg and the barometer height is 765 mm of Hg. The steam enters at a pressure of 0 0.08 bar, 0 0.08 bar with the dryness fraction 0 0.9. 
and the in what man came out of the end and this is the wet steam which is entering with the dryness fraction of 0.9 okay and the steam is leaves it is a saturation temperature if the steam is condensed at the rate of 1500 kg per hour determine the mass of air r is given that is 0.0 0.29 kilojoules per kg degree Kelvin. Okay, so let us see. Same in the Gundu mass of air calculate just not again. Are they problem? Okay, so I am taking a different problem again. Okay, so first one I mean, as I said, that is absolute pressure, absolute pressure. The calculation that is equal to the barometric pressure and the vacuum is given. So PB minus PV means uh, the barometric and the vacuum in the condenser that is given so the that is uh, 765 minus 660 so which is equal to which is equal to 765 minus uh, 660 which is equal to 105 mm of hg 105 mm of hg so as i said you need to convert this one into bars अंते का था बार लो की कन्वर्ट जाए बार लो कन्वर्ट चाहिए अलग एंटे डेट इस 760 मिम ऑफ हीजी अलग एंटे 1.01325 बार सो 105 मिम ऑफ हीजी आई थे यंता सो ऐला कैलकुलेट जिस तम 105 इनटू 1.01325 डिवाइड बाय 760 सो ये विधेयक मन कन्वर्ट जिस तम सो व्हिच इज इक्वल टू इफ यू कैलकुलेट विथ योर कैलकुलेटर यू आर गोइंग टू गेट दिस वैल्यू एस 0.1399 बार ओके सो फ्रॉम द स्टीम टेबल्स फ्रॉम द स्टीम टेबल्स दैट वी हैव टू फ्रॉम स्टीम टेबल्स स्टीम टेबल्स दिस कोणे फ्रॉम स्टीम टेबल्स we have to write the temperature at this uh, pressure that is uh, steam tables is going so steam tables the gra monarchy 0 0.1 pressure table into the so pressure table law monarchy 0 0.1399 bar the gra temperature in the net one to the man not just quality okay so 0 0.1 1399 so 0.13 and 0.14 so at this pressure what will be the temperature you have to read here see this is 52.57 okay so the temperature saturated from the steam table at 0.1399 bar saturation temperature is equal to 52.57 degree centigrade 52.57 degree centigrade is ask call okay so next absolute pressure which is uh, the steam enters the condenser pressure at 0 0.08 bar on each other okay so pressure of steam this pressure of steam is equal to 0 0.08 बार, ओके ना, पॉइंट जीरो एट बार, मानो मित्र इन दुग जस्ट ना मैं एक्चुअल का मानो को पार्शियल प्रेजर ऑफ एयर कैलकुलेट जायल, पार्शियल प्रेजर ऑफ एयर कैलकुलेट जायल, सो मानो वादी एयर कैलकुलेट जायल एंड है मानो को कंडेंसर प्रेजर ऑफ सेल्यूट प्रेजर ऑफ रेंड दिल्स का बट्टे अभी सब्सट्रैक्ट which is equal to so this is uh, 0 0.1399 bar that is the condensed pressure minus the absolute pressure this is the monarchy 0 0.1399 minus 0 0.08 just the monarchy air pressure also Sunday that is equal to 0 0.0599 bar also okay now मन में क्या मन के इंटेंट है बेसिक का मन में मास ऑफ़ एयर कैलकुलेट जैसे टप्पू डो पीवी इक्वल टू एमआरटी अंदर लोन्च कैलकुलेट जैसे हम सो ये विधेयक मन को प्रेशर पीए होच्छे सिंदी प्रेशर ऑफ़ एयर अदर होच्छे सिंद ओके ना तरवात इनको कट कावल सिंद इंटेंट है मन की स्पेसिफिक वॉल्यूम स्पेसिफिक वॉल्यूम गुड 
एट प्रेशर 0.08 बार फ्रॉम टेबल्स टेबल्स नीचे मन जीरो पाइं जीरो एट बार दर वीजी वाल्यू एंता स्पेसीफि वाल्यूम एंता अभी सो इंत जीरो पाइं जीरो एट बार दर स्पेसीफि वाल्यूम अने मनम चूड्स दट इज ईक्वल टू एन पाइंट वन जीरो फाइव मीटर क्यूब पर् केजी एन पाइंट वन जीरो फाइव मीटर क्यूब पर् केजी एन पाइंट वन जीरो फाइव मीटर क्यूब पर् केजी काकटे दिस्ज द वेपर स्पेसीफि वाल्यूम मन की लिक्ड स्पेसीफि वेपर दिस्ज साचुरेटेड वेपर एट फिट ईज एग्जाक्टली एट साचुरेटेड वेपर स्टेट दट ईज द स्पेसीफि वाल्यूम इज एन पाइंट वन जीरो फाइव का अदी अभी नाट एग्जाक्टली इट इज एट साचुरेटेड स्टेट द ड्रैन फ्राक्षन इज़ गिवेन पाइंट नईन अच्छा सो काबी मन स्पेसीफि वाल्यूम एट दट कंडीशन एला क्या चेयर वी नीड टू मल्टीप्लाई वित् द ड्रैन फ्राक्षन सो देर फोर द स्पेसीफि वाल्यूम विल बिकम एक्स इंटू वीजी एक्स इज नथिंग बट ड्रैन फ्राक्षन सो विच इज गिवेन ऐस जीरो पाइंट नईन मल्टीप्लाइड बै एन पाइंट वन जीरो फाइव इधर क्याक्युलेटर कैसे स्पेसीफि वाल्यूम वन की सिक्सटीन पाइंट टू नईन मीटर क्यूब पर् केजी वस्तु वन यू गाट दट वन दस्ट वी कैन क्या द मास् आफ एयर दट यूजिंग द ईक्वे पीवीज ईक्वल टू एम आर् सो वित् दिस् वी कैन क्या द मास् आफ एयर so mass of air associated with the steam that is equal to pressure multiplied by this and rt okay so enti chadu manaki pressure we know that pressure is 0.0599 bar it actually ikkada entante 0.05 डबल नईन बार बार अभी मन की आर् वाल्यू वे जीरो पाइं टू नई कि जोल्स पर् केजी डिग्री के कैलवीन इच्छा सो बार अने मन कि पास्कल की मार्च कुटे दाने कोसम नीन टेन स्क्वे हड्रेड तो मल्टीप्लाई चुनाव ओके मल्टीप्लाइड बै द स्पेसीफि वाल्यूम विच वी आलरे गाट इट दट सिक्सटीन पाइं टू नईन डिवेडेड बै आर् दट जीरो पाइं टू नईन इंटू टेमपरेशर टेमपरेशर इज टेमपरेशर दट मैं इक आलरे नोटेक टेमपरेशर फिफ्टी टू पाइंट फाइव सैवन ओके दिफ्टी टू पाइंट फाइव सैवन द साचुरेशन टेमपरेशर अच्छे इध डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड सब्स्यूटेट मन डिग्री के कैलवीनलो सब्स्यूटी फिफ्टी टू पाइंट फाइव सैवन प्लस टू सी थ्री डिग्री के कैलवीनलो सब्स्यूट सो इफ यू सिंप्लीफाई दट वन यूजिंग युवर क्यालक्युलेटर दैन यू विल गेट द मास् आफ एयर विच इज ईक्वल टू वन पाइंट जीरो जीरो थ्री केजी वन पाइंट जीरो जीरो वन पाइंट जीरो थ्री थ्री सारी वन पाइंट जीरो थ्री थ्री केजी ओके सो इध मैं आंसर Okay, this is the way you can calculate the mass of air. On uh, how to calculate the mass of cooling water to be circulated in a condenser. Okay, so basically, guys, I am going to to condense the steam. We need to circulate some amount of the cooling water inside the condenser. So, I say, in the any cases of steam, we condense it. And if any cases of steam water are not wanted, we will circulate the air soon. And the air wanted the calculation the air soon. So, that is problematic. Guard, you know, bro. That is even going to solve this. That one is wanted. Already, we have done the theory of the discussion. Let uh, we will uh, let us uh, recall that one. How we will calculate generally here in ideal case. What It will happen. Whatever the amount of the uh, heat which is rejected by the steam, 
టు కన్వర్ట్ ఫ్రమ్ స్టీమ్ టు లిక్విడ్ వేపర్ నుండి లిక్విడ్గా మారడానికి ఆబ్వియస్గా ద స్టీమ్ విల్ లూజ్ సర్టన్ అమౌంట్ ఆఫ్ ద హీట్ దట్ హీట్ విల్ బి అబ్జార్డ్ బై ద కూలింగ్ వాటర్ సర్క్యులేటింగ్ కూలింగ్ వాటర్ సో కాబట్టి మనం ఏం చేస్తామంటే అది క్యాలిక్యులేట్ చేయడానికి హీట్ లాస్ట్ బై స్టీమ్ మస్ట్ బి ఈక్వల్ టు హీట్ గెయిన్డ్ హీట్ గెయిన్డ్ బై కూలింగ్ వాటర్ ఈ విధంగా మనం హీట్ బ్యాలెన్స్ అనేటువంటిది చేసి క్యాలిక్యులేట్ చేస్తాం హీట్ గెయిన్డ్ హీట్ లాస్ట్ బై ద స్టీమ్ అంటే ఏంటి ఫస్ట్ ద స్టీమ్ విల్ ఎంటర్ ఎట్ ద ఎట్ సర్టెన్ స్టేట్ so what is the enthalpy of it means uh, the amount of the heat energy which it is lose, losing means uh, we can calculate in terms of by calculating this is the amount of the mass of steam which is entering into the condenser which consist of the enthalpy which h1 i am representing with the h1 and after condensing it will convert into the liquid state the what is the condition of the condensate so what is the enthalpy of it so if you subtract uh, that one from this so obviously the amount of the heat energy how much lost by the steam you can calculate with this like this okay which must be equal to the amount of the heat gained by the cooling water so obviously the cooling water oka certain temperature lo enter avutundi after attaining that heat it will attain after gaining the some amount of the heat energy from the steam then uh, obviously the it will attain to a certain temperature in, so inlet temperature of the cooling water outlet temperature of the cooling water you have to know with that you can calculate uh, mass of cooling mcp cp of w into t2 minus t1 or t0 minus t1 ela aina parledu so ante here t2 and t1 are the cooling water inlet and outlet temperatures and uh, this is the specific heat of the water and the mass of water which you are circulating so if you equate these two you can calculate uh, the mass of cooling water how much you can circulate so let us come le- with the problem we will see how to calculate the mass so here also in this problem also he is asking you to calculate the estimate the flow rate of cooling water cooling water so adi adi so kabatti how to calculate an advantage the manam problem to kalipi chuddam okay so em ichadu exhaust steam enter in a condenser at 0.09 bar pressure and 0.9 dry dryness fraction kuda ichadu ante ikkada entante basically ga which enters which is the wet steam is entering into the condenser okay and uh, the condenser leaves at 38 degree centigrade given data raskondi pressure is given as 0.08 bar and the dryness fraction x is equal to given as 0.9 okay and uh, the condensate uh, ca- and uh, the condenser leaves at 38 degree centigrade ante uh, the hot well temperature hot well temperature is equal to 38 degree centigrade so if we man and ask for so pressure in the chad sorry 0.09 bar and the x is equal to 0.9 dry hot well temperature is 38 degree centigrade with which the condenser uh, condensate coming out of the condenser okay so so now and also the temperature rise ikkada cooling water inlet temperature outlet temperature separate ga ivaledu at a certain temperature daggara enter ayindi adi 12 degree centigrade perigindi annadu ante direct ga manaki temperature rise of cooling water and a direct ga manaki t2 minus t1 ichesadu which is equal to t2 minus t1 which is equal to given as 12 degree centigrade idu ichesadu okay so and uh, how how much the mass of steam which is entering that is the mass of steam is given mass of steam is given as 9000 kg per hour 
అక్కడ యూనిట్స్ చూసుకోవాలి ఓకే పర్ అవర్ ఓకే సో నెక్స్ట్ ఇప్పుడు మనం ఏం చేయాలి మన మనము ఎంటరింగ్ స్టేట్లో వాట్ ఈస్ ద ఎంథాలపీ ఆఫ్ ద స్టీమ్ అండ్ ఆఫ్టర్ కండెన్సింగ్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద ఎంథాలపీ ఆఫ్ ద స్టీమ్ సో అది మనం వాట్ ఈస్ ద ఎంథాలపీ ఆఫ్ ద కండెన్సేట్ అది చూడాలి సో హెచ్ వన్ క్యాల్కులేట్ చేయాలి హెచ్ వన్ హెచ్ వన్ ఎలా క్యాల్కులేట్ చేయాలి అంటే వాట్ ప్రెషర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎంటరింగ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ పాయింట్ జీరో నైన్ బార్ సో జనరల్గా ఎంథాలపీ అనేటువంటిది మనం ఆల్రెడీ మీకు ప్రాపర్టీస్ ఆఫ్ స్టీమ్లో తెలుసు జస్ట్ నేను ఒక మనం నార్మల్గా పీవీ డయాగ్రామ్ కనుక చూస్తే or any take ts diagram or let's say suppose uh, the these are the constant pressure lines this is uh, the critical point this is the saturated vapor line and this is uh, the saturated liquid line aithe ikkada unte em antam manam x equal to 1 antam kaani let's say suppose the dryness fraction line విచ్ ఈస్ ఎంటరింగ్ ఎట్ ఎక్స్ ఈక్వల్ టు పాయింట్ నైన్ అని ఇచ్చాడు అంటే ఏంటంటే విచ్ ఈస్ ఎంటరింగ్ ఎట్ వెట్ స్టేట్ సో అలా ఉన్నప్పుడు మనము ఎంథాలపీ ఎలా క్యాలిక్యులేట్ చేస్తామండి వి హ్యావ్ టు క్యాలిక్యులే టోటల్ వి హ్యావ్ టు టేక్ దిస్ ఈజ్ ద ఎంథాలపీ విచ్ ఈస్ ఈక్వల్ టు హెచ్ఎఫ్ ఓకే అండ్ దిస్ ఈజ్ ద హెచ్ఎఫ్ జి వాల్యూ హెచ్ఎఫ్ జి మీన్స్ హెచ్ఎఫ్ జి వాల్యూ అండ్ మీన్స్ లేటెంట్ హీట్ ఆఫ్ వేపరైజేషన్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ రీచెస్ అప్ టు ద సాచురేటెడ్ పాయింట్ మీన్స్ విచ్ ఈస్ ఆల్మోస్ట్ ఈక్వల్ ఆర్ హియర్ దిస్ వాల్యూ ఈజ్ సెట్ టు బి హెచ్ జి ఇక్కడ వరకు ఏమంటాం మనం దిస్ వాల్యూ ఈజ్ సెట్ టు బి హెచ్ జి ఓకే సో మనకి ఏంటంటే బేసికల్లీ ద హెచ్ఎఫ్ జి ఈజ్ నథింగ్ బట్ హెచ్ జి మైనస్ హెచ్ఎఫ్ విల్ గివ్ యూ ద హెచ్ఎఫ్ జి సో only we need up to this point point 9 varaki maatrame it is not uh, entering at saturated state so you need to multiply with the dryness fraction point 9 which is given point 9 so kabatti manam h1 ane atvanti di e vidhanga raskochu hf1 plus x into hfg an raskochu x into hfg and rascoch so mari hf1 ante liquid enthalpy ekkad nunchi ostundi mana steam table nundi ostundi so we need to write we need to note down the readings hf1 and hfg from the steam table at that pressure so at point 09 bar from steam tables from steam tables hf1 equal to hf1 equal to ide ende steam table chudandi ee steam table lo meeku particular ga mana pressure table ganaka teesukunte 0.09 bar daggara 0.09 bar daggara manaki see here 0.09 bar the graph hf which is equal to 183.3 and hfg is equal to 2397.8 in manaku table nunchi vachestai okay so hf1 is equal to 183.3 kilojoules per kg and hfg is equal to 2397.8 kilojoules per kg so ippudu manam easy ga h1 ante enthalpy of uh, the steam at entry state adi calculate chesukochu so therefore h1 is equal to h1 is equal to hf1 plus x into hfg so which is equal to 183.3 ప్లస్ ఎక్స్ ఎంత ఇచ్చాడు పాయింట్ నైన్ డ్రైనెస్ ఫ్రాక్షన్ ఇంటూ టూ త్రీ నైన్ సెవెన్ పాయింట్ ఎయిట్ చేస్తే మనకి హెచ్ వన్ ఫైనల్గా ఇఫ్ యూ క్యాలిక్యులేట్ విత్ యువర్ క్యాలిక్యులేటర్ దెన్ యూ కెన్ ఏబుల్ టు క్యాలిక్యులేట్ దట్ వన్ దట్ ఈస్ హెచ్ వన్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు టూ త్రీ ఫోర్ వన్ పాయింట్ త్రీ టూ టూ త్రీ ఫోర్ వన్ పాయింట్ త్రీ టూ కిలోజోల్స్ పర్ కేజీ దిస్ ఈజ్ ద వాల్యూ ఆఫ్ హెచ్ ఓకే 
next you need to calculate the h2 h2 means what actually which is uh, the condensate uh, it the vapor steam wet steam which is converted into liquid state that is at a temperature which is at a temperature of 38 degree centigrade so at 38 degree centigrade at 38 degree centigrade what will be the liquid enthalpy if you take from the steam table directly then you can able to uh, that will that that is the e that is equal to the uh, enthalpy at uh, uh, enthalpy of the steam after condensing so at 38 degree centigrade from steam tables the liquid enthalpy HF at 38 degree centigrade take the tables and uh, at 38 degree centigrade see here at 38 degree centigrade the liquid enthalpy which is equal to 159.1 kilojoules per kg 159.1 kilojoules per kg so 151.1 159.1 kilojoules per kg. So steam ane di liquid ga marindi. A liquid temperature ichad ga bati. Dani enthalpy yenta ane advantage di. Manam direct ga 38 degree centigrade da gera. Dani enthalpy yenta ane advantage di. Steam table nunche cross coach. So that is equal to the H2. Which is nothing but H2. Okay. So now coming to the energy balance equation to calculate the mass of cooling water so mass of steam multiplied by h1 minus h2 is equal to mass of cooling water multiplied by specific heat of water into t2 minus t1 this is the heat balance equation so in the law manaki mass of cooling water calculate cheyali so mass of steam is given as 9000 okay so 9000 multiplied by h1 h1 we got it already 2341.32 minus 1342 minus h2 means liquid enthalpy that is equal to 159.1 which is equal to mass of cooling water adi manam kanukovali okay multiplied by specific heat of water specific heat of water mean that is equal to 4.2 and rastharu or ledante 4.182 adi manam oka vela ichina ayipoyina nalle that is 4.182 konni books lo rough ga approximated ga 4.2 and kuda teeskuntaru doesn't matter okay i am taking 4.182 kilojoules per kg specific heat of water multiplied by temperature rise t2 minus t1 ikkada individual ga ivaledu outlet and inlet temperatures ani ivaledu direct ga temperature rise ani icharu which is equal to 12 degree centigrade kakapothe ikkada enti manam 12 degree centigrade so manam temperature rise ani icharu kabatti akkada direct ga manaki multiplied by 12 idi icchesadu okay here you have a doubt about the degree centigrade. You can convert the degree centigrade in the degree centigrade. The degree centigrade is the degree centigrade. What is the subtraction? T2 minus T1 is equal to 12. So, we have 1 plus 273, and 1 plus 273 is equal to 1 plus 273. So, 12 is equal to 12. So, it doesn't matter. No problem. 12 degrees centigrade. So, that is 12. Okay. Next, if you simplify that one, you can enable mass of cooling water. Or flow rate and good enough. Which is equal to this 9000 multiplied by... 9000 multiplied by if you subtract that one the value you are going to get something uh, 2341.32 minus 159.1 divided by 4.182 multiplied by 12 
okay that is the mass of cooling water so which can be if you calculate with your calculator if you substitute the values you are going to get that 391 3,91,359 3,91,359 0.39 kg per hour 0.39 kg per hour this is kg per hour lo substitute jason ga vatte manak adhi kuda kg per hour lo ne osun suppose if you want to convert that one into kg per second so divided divide with the 60 into 60 then in the hours is going to convert into seconds so which is equal to 108.71 kg per second that is the flow rate mean cooling water flow rate 108.71 kg per second so to convert the steam which is entering at this state that is at this pressure and the dryness fraction if we want to convert that steam into the condens in into the liquid phase which is equal to the which the temperature of it is equal to a 38 degree centigrade avidhanga maradaniki meeru enta cooling water ni circulate cheyalannattu 108.71 kg per second anta cooling water circulate chesthe manaki required conditions satisfy avutai okay this is the way we will calculate the mass of cooling water required to circulate okay